this stretch of road here, you have lenses of Scarn, some quartz lenses, small quartz lenses, patches like this, lots of oxidation. There's calcopyrite and pyrite in that. What we found over here is this angular rock uh, broken open. There's quartz with calcopyrite. And as you can see, very nice calcopyrite. We haven't found the source of this yet, but we know it's somewhere in the vicinity of the next couple hundred meters on this road. Nice little float rock, not 15 meters away across the road. We have a nice Scarn calcopyrite lens that we visited before. As you can see, it's about 30 centimeters wide at the top and it widens down here at the base before it goes underneath the road. There is semi-massive calcopyrite and pyrite in here. Some magnetite. In between the lens here you can see the dark green patches where you have epidote and calcopyrite all along in here goes throughout this entire outcrop striking the opposite way of that lens. And this is something that I just found a couple minutes ago. Over here, you have another lens with scarn. And you have calcopyrite and pyrite as well in this one. So we're going to hammer some samples from here. So I'm going to show you a couple samples that we just pulled out of this lens right here. And then after I'm going to show you some samples that we just took across this outcrop over here and down below the road where there is bedrock, scarn, and quartz veins. So this right here is from that vein right there and it is Massive calcopyrite. A little bit of magnetite in there. You can see the scarn. Very nice sample. Another one from there.
And over here, we have some samples that were taken in between from a bunch of outcrop. Again, you got semi-massive and massive sulfides, stringers of calcopyrite and pyrite and disseminations, of course. So lots of mineralization in many different areas on this 50 meter stretch of road. So down below the road, right on the edge here, there is a cliff. And right on the edge of the cliff, there is a quartz vein that is mineralized and the host rock is mineralized. Same host rock is up here. And same as this quartz here. So underneath all this overburden everything, we can't really tell what's in there, but looking at a lot of float samples down here, finding quite a few samples in this area too. These are some of the ones that J2 pulled from the quartz vein down below. And this is from the bedrock beside the quartz, which is actually mineralized more than the quartz vein. So our goal is to get a sample from the quartz vein down below, right on the edge of the cliff. Eventually we're going to have to go below it. You just have to find a different access route. So a sample from there. We're going to get a sample from here. We're going to take some samples from in between. And then we're going to resample that lens there. This is from the bedrock right beside where the lens is right there. So even the bedrock has mineralization. Looks like a little carbonate vein right beside it here. Let's pull out some material. There's malachite staining all in there. Look at the mineralization here on this new lens. Massive sulfides. This one looks like it widens as it goes down as well. Look at that. Gorgeous sample. Oh, she's a heavy one. Samples from the quartz vein down below, calcopyrite, and there's definitely some boronite in these. These are the host rock samples near the quartz vein down below. Again, you have calcopyrite. Looks like there's some minor boronite in these too. Here we have a few samples. You can see little stringer veins, patches of calcopyrite.
these samples here with the patches and the stringer veins, quartz and epidotization. These samples come from in various areas across the surface of this outcrop outside the lens area. We have more samples here from the original lens that we found here. We resampled that and as you can see there's semi-massive massive calcopyrite with pyrite and some magnetite And now some samples from the lens there. We've pulled out quite a few. This is right on the surface. Some of the first samples we pulled off. We're finding as we go down, the calcopyrite is more massive. You have more malachite staining. Some magnetite in there too. Seeing some bornite. A lot of the samples are pretty heavily weathered, but these are massive sulfides for sure. So lots of samples from that lens there, and we just found something else. Another lens here of pyrite, very fine pyrite. And that comes from around the corner over there. So, disseminated pyrite and another lens running through here. So what we have here is massive and semi-massive sulfides, pyrite, calcopyrite, same host rock. These samples were found 50 meters up in the bushes. What do you know? More samples from bedrock up here. Semi-massive calcopyrite. So this is about a 50 meter wide area where you can find mineralization. 
found his lenses, stringers, patches of calcopyrite, quartz veins, you name it. Definitely a zone of interest going forward. And our last sample of the day, J2 found just around the bank there. Massive sulfides, what do you know? And I think I'll leave the video at this. This is our massive boulder. And yes, we're taking this with us. See you next video, guys.